If you're coming to Barcelona this April 2023 and want to know the best dates, activities, and things that are going on around the city, here's my Barcelona City Guide. April has always been one of my favorite months to come on over to Barcelona for its combination of the great weather and all the activities that we have going out through the entire city. But before we get into those activities, to help you better get planned, you're gonna to wanna to know a little bit about the weather. My biggest recommendation is always to go online and check what the weather is gonna be as we get a little bit closer to your dates. But what you're gonna see are average highs between about 55 Fahrenheit and 66. It's 13 and 19 for those of you that are using Celsius. So in terms of temperatures, you can always expect to have some nice days here in April, but I would always bring some lighter layers, jackets, sweaters, so that if you're in the shade or later at night, you're still going to be comfortable. And another question that I get a lot is, is April a good time to get over to the beach in Barcelona? Now getting over to the beach and actually getting in the water are going to be two different questions entirely. You're going to see people here all year round over at the beach doing all sorts of different activities, but actually getting in the water, April might be a little early. A lot of times we see people getting in for the very first time in April, but I would probably recommend starting to get into that water around May. The other nice thing about visiting Barcelona in April is that we're still in that tourist low season. So you're gonna be able to see the city with a few less people. But you will notice that that Semana Santa or that Easter week, you will have a lot more people in the city. Outside of that week, you're gonna be able to take advantage of Barcelona at its best. So what are some of the best dates and events that are going on in Barcelona this April? This year, that Easter week or Semana Santa is gonna fall at the beginning of the month. Now, it's really important to understand that if you're coming over to Barcelona, you're not gonna find those religious processions all throughout the city like you're gonna find in some of those other places around Spain. Here in Barcelona, we don't really have that too much. There are some big days like Palm Sunday, which is gonna be the second this year. Well, outside of the cathedral, you're gonna find people with those palms and special masses. And then obviously Easter Sunday and then even Easter Monday, which is gonna be a public holiday over here in Barcelona. While it's not such a big week in terms of those religious processions, it is a big vacation time for not only the Spaniards, but also for other European countries. So one of the things that you should keep in mind if you're coming over during this week, more towards that second half of the week as people start to travel around and move throughout the country a little bit more, I would expect to see a lot more people. And keep in mind that here in the old part of the city, you are gonna see a lot of people. If you are looking for more of those religious processions in the city, two that I can recommend are to come over outside of San Agustí here in the Raval. They usually have some processions throughout the neighborhood. And then just across the Rambla, over off of Ferran Street, outside of the San Jaume Church, you've got another procession that they'll be moving not only onto Ferran, but even up onto La Rambla. Remember that this video is focusing specifically on the things that you can do here in April 2023 in Barcelona for some of the best options that you can do throughout the entire year in each of the different neighborhoods remember to download my free guide to Barcelona each month in Barcelona we celebrate the different neighborhood festivals and in April the big one's gonna be around the Sagrada Familia you're probably already gonna be going over to Barcelona's number one tourist attraction. So while you're there, make sure to check out some of the festivities that are gonna be going on. Normally around the 23rd of April, this year they're gonna be going from the 14th to the 23rd. You've got all sorts of different cultural attractions and different activities that are gonna be going on around the church. One of the best things that you're gonna find is the human towers being built right in front of the nativity facade of that Sagrada Familia, one of those big cultural activities we usually see in the center in that Plaza San Jaume, those human towers being built up, and where better than right in front of the nativity scene. And tennis fans are gonna be happy to know that from April 15th to the 23rd, we've got the Barcelona Open here in the city, some of the best tennis that you can find around. Get on over to the Real Club de Tennis and get online and get those tickets while you still can because we already have Rafael Nadal and Carlos Alcaraz here signed up to play. It's your best chance to see some really great tennis while you're here in town. Here's a fun one. If you're here in Barcelona on April 16th at noon, get on over to Rambla de Catalunya and Diagonal right next to the giraffe statue and make sure you're wearing a hat. Barcelona's 19th annual hat stroll is going on where people just come on over and celebrate wearing hats. Any kind of hat that you want is fine. You're gonna see a lot of old school style hats, but as long as you got something, covering that head, you'll be good to go. Jump on in and enjoy. My favorite day, not just in April, but the entire year in Barcelona is April 23rd. And that's because it's the day of St. George. So if your plans to come to Barcelona coincide with that April 23rd date, you're in luck. 
but this year it seems like for whatever reason a lot of the big events are happening either on that same April 23rd or the days surrounding it. So if you're still planning, trying to figure out what day is to be here, I would definitely recommend checking out April 23rd. St. George, Jordi, and Catalan is the patron saint of all of Catalonia. And it's his legend where he saves a princess from being eaten by that dragon by killing that dragon and taking a rose from the dragon's blood and giving it to the princess that has turned it into like a Catalan lover's day where people are gonna celebrate by giving out roses and books. But it's not just here in Barcelona and Catalonia as a whole where we celebrate this day. Technically, April 23rd coincides with World Book Day, and that's what makes this day so special. I've got an entire video of the legend and the history of the day here, not only in Barcelona, but its connection to Catalonia as a whole that I'll leave for you in the description below. But I also go live every April 23rd, bringing you around the city to see just how special it is. So if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when new videos are coming out and know when I'll be going live. If you are able to be over here on April 23rd, where you're gonna to wanna to be is along the Passage de Gracia. Last year, they moved everything over here to celebrate, to have more space, and created an entire super block where you've got all the books, all the roses, booksellers and stands all coming over here to celebrate. Because it is book day and author's rights day, you also get a lot of authors that come into the city to sign those books, and you'll find them all along the Passage de Gracia. Keep in mind that this year it falls on a Sunday, so it's gonna be busier than normal. One of the big things that you have to see as well is the Casa Batio, which is right behind me now. You can see the full facade, but if you didn't know this already, it tells the legend of St. George. Around April 23rd, one of the best things that they do is they get involved, get dressed up for the occasion, and they decorate the entire facade in roses. And another event you're gonna wanna check out is the Feria de Abril de Catalunya. This year they're gonna be celebrating their 50th edition, and it's usually held over at the Forum. This is an event that realistically started down in Seville and it has become the major event they have throughout the city in the entire year. But with a lot of this Andalusian migration that's coming over to Barcelona, especially in those 50s and 60s, they brought a lot of their traditions as well. And so something that started as a livestock fair realistically has turned into a big social event that usually happens at the second half of the month. Those last two weeks of April over at that forum, definitely go over there and check it out. It's a lot of fun. April 27th is a big day over here because it's the saint day for the other patron saint of all of Catalonia, Montserrat. You'll probably have heard of that name from the famous mountain that's a day trip, the most famous day trip that you can do outside of Barcelona, going over and seeing a monastery high up in the mountain and visiting the Virgin Mary of Montserrat. It's one of the best day trips that I can recommend for you to do, and in April, it's one of the best times to do it. Now, April 27th, despite being the day of Montserrat, might not be the best day to go over there. They have a special mass for everybody named Montserrat or Monse, and a lot of people tend to go on that day. But it's one that I definitely recommend while you're over here. You can do it in just the morning or just an afternoon and still have time to see the rest of Barcelona. But if you're still not sure if a day trip to Montserrat from Barcelona is worth it on your next trip, watch this video next where I help you answer that exact question.